So in this scene, I want to get back to moving my scene around. So I'm going to turn off allow cinematic control. And what I want to do is I'm going to make it look like uh, Amy is sitting here looking at her dancing and not happy about it. So what I'm going to do is just grab her in again. And I had added uh, the uh, rec lights that I've been t told you about and always uh, keep an eye on this. So this is three. This is really important. And so there she is. I like the shadow. I'm, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with animations. And the first thing I want to do is find something that works well. Um, so I'm going to use this shaking head animation. And uh, I didn't show this, but by double clicking on them, you can see what they are. So there she is, not happy. I'm going to stitch that in with something else. So what I'm going to do is go to sequencer and I will... Um, so just keep note of what it's called. Go to content, go to cinematics. I'm going to create an animation level sequence like we've done before. I'll call it five. And again, you got six, seven, eight. I told you not to try to have more than eight. Uh, otherwise you'll actor to sequencer. My Amy, I make sure it's selected. It's the correct one. And I'm going to go and shake head. I believe it was called annoyed shake head. So let's have a look at it. And maybe if I just bring a camera in at the same time, I'll be able to do that. And I will just move this over this way. So I know it's active, so I'm seeing. And let's see what the shake head looks like. Press space. So, you know, this is what I want. To, you can shorten this. So I don't like how it starts, so I'm going to just shorten it here. And I'm going to make it start from here okay so you can that's a quick and easy way to shorten an animation so i'm going to move it here so i shortened it just by doing that so she's not happy and i want to click on my camera actor which i am so we can get a sense of how she's not happy so she's not too happy there I'll use the alt technique, have her like this, looking off in the distance. And one thing I didn't do, as you can tell, is I forgot to change my camera focus. And the good thing about this is even if you forgot to do it, you're about to do your final cut with the previs. That's what's so powerful about Unreal Engine is you can go and do it. So she's really not happy. Blah, 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 blah. There you go. All right, and so I'm going to go get, I found the other animation, and again, here's my Amy character. I'm going to go in animation, I'm going to add angry. So it adds it below, but what I want you to do is put it on the same line. And as long as you have this uh, enabled, they'll click. And now, and sometimes you can play it and it'll look like it works, but there's something built in Unreal Engine that's really cool, is if you bring it in, it'll help uh, phase between the two without having now they don't always work perfectly so you have to test so what i'm going to do is press play so there you go perfect she's really not happy she's you know her competitor did a great job uh and so she's like okay not happy at all so that's how you bring together two different animations now you could bring in a whole bunch more if you wanted to uh but again we're doing a previs and the goal is to visualize the scene and you know maybe you don't like the background here so you can move amy somewhere else and that's what's so powerful about this um, i'm going to save this and in the next stage we're going to actually build our master sequence